Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and today I'm just going to do a nice quick valeting video and we're going to look at the Auto Glim Polar Kit. So that's the Polar Blast, Polar Wash, Polar Seal and we're just going to do a quick wash on a clean modern car. Pretty good paintwork, pretty dirty as you can see and I'll show how to use the products what sort of results you can get in very very little time with very little actual manual car washing so we're going to go over the car cleaning process using the right products you can see here so that's the range from Auto Glim, Polar Glock Blast, Polar Wash, Polar Seal the Auto Glim Blaster and a little bit of built hamber auto wheel. Um, I've got the measuring jug to get the measurements right. So Polar Blast is one part blast to five parts water. Polar Wash is one part wash to one part water. And the seal is 40 mil of seal to 200 mil of water. So I'll get them mixed up. Get the first one, which is Polar Blast. We'll get that in the cannon. Get it hooked up to the carpenter and we'll get it on. So I'm going to start with a pre-rinsed carcher, upgraded stubby gun, get it pre-rinsed and then get the foam off. Right, that's pre-rinsed done. I'd just like to note again very quickly um, about the extended carcher 10 metre lead. As I've said in one of my previous videos, it really is invaluable. Anyway, um, I won't go on too much about the Karcher or the Stubby Gun, because I've reviewed that in another video. So we'll just start getting the Polar Blast on straight away. I've got it set to maximum. And... Here we go. Layer that up a bit. So you can see how it's going on. Classically, even though it's been sunny all day, it's just starting to rain. I'll get round and do the other half of the car off camera. But as you can see, it's doing its job nicely. And as I say, what I want to discuss in this video is the fact that we'll have the car 80% done and won't have even touched anything. So it's sitting nicely, nice and thick on the doors, bubbling up nicely, consistency is good. Very, very pleased with it. So this is the sort of coverage you can expect. It takes about three minutes to get around the car. And this is with the Auto Glim Polar Blast product mixed as per manufacturer's instructions, which I showed at the start of the video. While it's the foam's dwelling, I like to have built hamber, auto wheel, or red seven by Auto Smart sat on the wheels keeping them nice and wet don't want to get the product don't want to let the product dry on the alloys but I just let that sit while the foam's doing its work and trying to soften up some of the dirt and I'll go in and get the next mix ready so I filled that with water and filled up the next pot or filled up the snow cannon with polar wash and this has been sitting for 10 minutes and I'd say this is how I like it you know we're still seeing some adhesion to panel we're getting quite a lot on the floor which is what we want yes yeah, lifting up the dirt it's clung on there for 10 minutes it's lifting up the dirt and depositing it on the floor contactless 
not scrubbing the grit and dirt around the bodywork. So we'll just have a, I'll film rinsing a panel so you get an idea of you know, what the performance has been like so far. And again, I have to stress, I haven't touched the car yet. And as you can see, the paint's not looking too bad at all. And this will give you a good indication of how little manual work is going to be required at the end. So I'll pause the video, get this rinsed, and then I'll put the polar wash on and show you how that works out. So there we go. That's second rinse done. So I've done pre rinse, we've done Polar Blast, foam, pre-wash, and now we're gonna go in with Auto Glim Polar Wash. I'd just like to point out for the video, um, I've never used the entire collection before. I probably got it as a Christmas present or in part of a bundle, and I've been using the snow foam purely because Auto Glim said that their Lance is uh, optimized for their snow foam, obviously. So I thought, you know, for the sake of science and testing, I'll give the Auto Glim Snow Cannon a fair chance. So I'd use their products to begin with. And I'm sure as time goes on, I'll probably find another product that I prefer. But for the time being, I'm on this. Anyway, so again, set to maximum. Polar wash is 50-50, half water, half wash. And this is how it goes on. Pretty much the same as the snow foam. So it goes on almost the same as the um, snow foam. One thing I'd like to point out, I'm gonna say this quickly because I wanna get start getting off. But one thing I'll point out, one of the benefits I've heard about this is that as opposed to a two bucket wash and you put in product is in one bucket and you're slopping it around the car, when you cover the car like this in Auto Glim Polar Wash, you can see where you haven't been. You know, so once I've covered the entire car, as I start buzzing around it, I might start on this panel, for example, go around anti-clockwise as the mood takes me and you can see what panels you've done and all I'm going to do is go around and agitate them just to get rid of some of the more stubborn dirt so I'm going to pause get the car covered and then I'll show you on one panel how easy it all comes off so knit rinse and for the in case people say oh you said before that you were going to start on that panel so I'm starting on this panel even though I started to think oh I don't know I might do the bonnet so as I've said a few times, just to reiterate, this is the first time I've got my hands wet. I wouldn't say dirty, because the car's nearly clean. So, let's go around to a bigger area very quickly. So literally, we're just agitating a small amount. And that's it, that is it. So as I say, you can see what you've done there. You see I've done there, and here you're screaming at the camera. You haven't rinsed, you haven't rinsed. So I'm rinsing. I've done two whole panels without rinsing. 
going to Valley in Hell. I think I'll be alright. It was, uh, I'd already felt the paintwork. It felt pretty shiny and uh, grip free. So, one more, and then I'll pause, whip around the whole car, do the, I'll do a quick rinse, and then try the powder seal. And as I say, I haven't tried the whole set before, so this is new for me too. And I've certainly never tried the polar seal. Well, it's genius. As people said, because of the thickness, applying the wash with a cannon, you can see exactly where you've been and wiped. So that's all good. In you know, one minute it's two mil thick, it's clinging on, and I can see where I've been up and down. All good. Paintwork's looking nice. I'm going for a rinse. I will show the first part of the rinse, but not all of it. And then nipping the house, mix up the polar seal and have a go. So let's have a quick look. that's that mixed a bit different this time so we've got 40 mil of polar seal and 200 mil of water and I'm gonna do a quick blast oh yeah and also I've been using it on full so I've gone back one whole turn so I'm just gonna get this on one panel for the camera and then nip round really quick the rest of the car and that is how it goes on so I'm going to get that on, give it a quick dwell, and then rinse. So it goes on as you'd imagine, been all round now, and as you would imagine, it is starting to bead. And you could sort of see that, it went on a bit like milk. So dialing down the, um, the mixture by half a, turn, uh, a whole turn made it go miles so um, let's rinse this panel as per tradition it's getting close there I mean you can see what's happening wonderful forgot to mention as well and other people have said the same it smells great I mean that is wonderful given the amount of work effort I've had to put in So instructions say, thoroughly rinse your car and dry your car. Um, I won't go through the drying. I'm gonna rinse it, go over it with one of my favorite all time Valentin accessories, the Chemical Brothers, uh, Chemical Guys. <laughs> oh, it's one of them days, must be tired. Chemical Guys, Woolly Mammoth, fabulous. So I'll get round it with that. And once I've rinsed it, and I'll do a few shots of it at the end, but so far, early indicators are looking good hassle free you know you got to get your kit out your kit and a bucket and be a bit organized indoors in terms of measuring out your gear other than that easy peasy anyone could do it well unfortunately I've got to get my final video before it rains I'm not quite as dry as I'd like to be as I say, it's 
start to rain. Paint's got a nice level of shine, as you saw in the videos. It's beading up well. I accept the fact that this is a less than six month old car, so you expect the paint to be good. But this video was just to show if you're using the Auto Glim Polar Kit, what you can expect with little to no manual work at all. The car washing bit probably took me 10, bit, 10 minutes tops, you know, going around it with a mitt. The rest of it was all spent applying foam, applying the wash, applying the polar seal, and I'm very, very pleased with the results. Easy. Easy. So it's good. That's what you can expect. Minimal ag, great results, easy peasy, fabulous, highly recommended, great bit of kit. Thanks for watching as always. Ah, oh, don't forget, please like and subscribe, hit the bell button so you get notifications, and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching as always, appreciate all your support, take care, all the best.